So the question was uh, kind of blurry for us at the beginning. So we are going to answer like if you are working, for example, in a new country, in France or in Europe, and your manager from France wants to send you abroad in the next uh, month. So you know that you are going to go in China. And what are you going to do in China? Obviously, you already know, but you already know. But how is it going to make it like to have such a performance even better? How can you help this manager to help um, you? make you more efficient when you go to your road. So you are going to have the pre hazardous performance. So what can you do? First you can do an overview of your first experience in the company. You're already working in this company for several years, for months or even for weeks. But the manager doesn't always know what you're actually doing. So what can you do? First you bring in a meeting with him and give him an overview. So what I did, what was my task, and what was my result, and what my um, everything you could say about your experience inside the company. But what you can do also, it's also giving your extra external um, experience in the branch. So before working in this company, obviously you already work somewhere most of the time. So the manager doesn't don't always uh, doesn't know that all the time. You just know your CV. But you can explain to him, okay, I already had experience, for example, and I can do that next trial what I was doing this company here. So you need a frequent communication that means even it doesn't have to be one meeting. You can ask for several meetings and all the time you have something coming in mind and something you should say about your future um, Chinese experience, you should go to him without any problem, without being a blood ball practice in um, higher than you in the arch. Then uh, you should give all the letters, self evaluation, motivation letters, group motivation letters about yourself. Like, why should we, why should you hire me and not someone else? When I, why I'm this extra from in your company in China? What I'm going to bring to you? And also, you should uh, bring your record of personal accomplishment, project led, objective meetings, uh, training session, assessment, and skill development. What? Uh, how did you self develop? Uh, what the company brought to you and what, uh, how are you going to improve yourself in China also? So it's, you should explain that if you go to China, you're going to bring them a lot of uh, assets and a lot of performance and everything, but they also bring it to you. So in this way, it's going to seem like it's not going to be just a task that they're going to be, they're going to be something you should just um, improve by yourself and just get involved in the, in the so then you should also, that's really important, talk about um, HRM. You should not just talk about all the objectives and positive way. You should also talk about all the negative aspects of your uh, past year. So how can you improve in China on the past, uh, on this experience, all the negative aspects you had in the past years. And then something really important also, you should always ask all your co-workers at, uh, advice and evaluation and feedback from also your supervisor. Because it's something to um, evaluate yourself, give self-evaluation and cover letter, but the most critical way to say what you are good at and your performance is also come from the others you work on of you. So peer evaluation and feedback supervisors. And then you should also propose or uh, offer some compromise. So you can say, okay, so like I'm not going to China next uh, year, for example, you should just you should offer me a cultural training. I will be I will be glad to follow. Or we also can do video conference to prepare the future uh, job offer with the Chinese um, the Chinese company or Chinese recruiter. So there is already a communication and a, a, next, uh, a sharing between these both companies. And then uh, you should also share, even if it can be private or something, uh, share your potential work aspiration. Like, if you headquarter here, you know what you want to aspire for in the next years, you can just uh, assess your performance in the good place in the world at the right time next, when you meet with China. Uh, so everyone, uh, we are representing Group 7 and the question we are analyzing is if you are assigned to work in China by multinational corporations, what should you do to have headquarters to assess as a need of performance? This is uh, self-assessing steps. What we think we should do to prepare a good evaluation assessment report. First of all, we should define the purpose. Why are you in this 
company? What is your job? What is your job description? Uh, how can you make a difference for the company? Maybe you are here to bring your marketing expertise to the local market in China. Maybe you are. You understand uh, the workings of the Chinese government, and that's why you are here. Uh, this is the reason why you are, we are working, what the company expects of you. First of all, you must define this properly. And then the second part, second step is performance criteria. What is can be termed as a success? What does the company expect you to do? Maybe we need to reach a sales target of increase the sales uh, to by 10%, maybe by 20%. Maybe you need to increase your market share uh, to 30% or something. And this is the performance criteria. We need to define it clearly. And the third step is instrument. Uh, did you meet the performance criteria? Say you achieve your sales target, and this is the instrument. How do you do it? Maybe you use this. Uh, do you use philanthropy work? Do you use publicity? Do you use advertisement? Or maybe you just uh, connect with the consumer and were able to develop a new product. You need to uh, define uh, how, how was how was the success from and frequency. How often did you meet your sales target? Maybe it was just once in a blue moon. Thing. Maybe it occurred this last month, or maybe you uh, achieved your sales target consecutively for the last 11 months. This will help your headquarters assess your performance. And the fifth is you can attach a local evaluator's command, recommendations to your direct superiors. What is the local manager's thing of your performance? The evaluation, the report, is it global? Maybe they make some global reports of your success or not. Okay. Very tough. Yeah, and uh, for the progression step, that um, if uh, if you work in China and they, the company didn't support you, you still have to save yourself. And we think you have to set a individual development plan. And first, uh, we have from the training, we have uh, if you didn't know any of Chinese, you cannot be, uh, have a good communication with your uh, co-workers. And and so we think. For training, per, uh, maybe we can set 70% uh, uh, for our job training and 20% for uh, mentoring and 10% for the course, uh, course training, like some culture or language training. And um, after that, you can you, uh, you should get some local experience and know how to work in the new market and um, yeah, know how to work in the local and how to work with the local um, local local uh, com uh, employees, and after that you can uh, gain some uh, gain expertise, um, even uh, know how to lead other people and the whole uh, market. And after uh, finally, after this this step, you can have um, uh, feedback to your headquarters. Uh, let them know how uh, your working condition in the uh, in China and can perform, uh, have your own performance analyzed. Pretty good, yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, what's the purpose of this assessment? Obviously, this is not for fun. What is the purpose of performance appraisal? Uh, the first one is maybe you want to for the payment, and, and there's training and development. And the third one is uh, identity, uh, identify the cost of gas and performance, and deciding the uh, future future changes in policy and maybe promotion or turnover rate or other purposes. These are the, this will, the usual assessment report should have the company to, uh, to have them make decision of these, these policies. It should also be able to determine whether you fit into the company. Is, uh, is, are you able to fit into the company the work culture and the work requirements? You should be able to assess your performance outcomes. Uh, what difference did you make? Did you improve the business productivity? Did you increase your sales target or did you increase your market share? And organizational justice. Uh, you should have the company determine whether the current policies are working or not. Whether uh, maybe the headquarters think that policies working but actually is not working the local. Maybe you can from this feedback they can better understand how to operate in China. Basically, that's our presentation. Thank you all. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, okay, so uh, before we even start on what you sh can do to help yourself in your performance evaluation, we should uh, we'll discuss some of the very, very basic things that a company should do. So the first one is that the uh, headquarters and the local subsidiaries should jointly to create a performance evaluation so as to reach a mutual understanding of what exactly the expect is expected to do in his overseas assignment job. 
um, while in doing so, the HR of both companies should consider the past performance of the previous aspect assignment. And then from the assignment, they should evaluate whether these indicators are really working for the aspect. After which, what you can do to help yourself in your performance before you even depart from your headquarters is that you should discuss with the HR personnel on how exactly will it be performed. Uh, how exactly will performance be evaluated? What are the key performance indicators that they look out for in the performance? So during the assignment, what can you do to help yourself, uh, to help the HQ assess your performance there? Uh, well, you need to keep track, probably you can keep track of your contributions uh, regularly by probably like keeping logs books. Um, you can note down the reason for not performing up to expectations and not reaching your objectives. Um, this is like, maybe you can do self-reflection uh, on an ongoing basis. And lastly, uh, what you can do during the assignment is by uh, observing what kind of other what other performance indicators that you can use uh, and implement in the current job and ask the HR to make necessary adjustments. During the appraisal time, we know that uh, this question is particular to China China overseas assignment. And as mentioned by the prof, uh, it's a, in China it's all about Swan C, it's about relationship. So your boss may have a favoritism to you. And so you need to cut down all these biases. What you can do is to have the HR to get uh, evaluation not just from your boss, also from your colleagues, your customers, subordinates, and make sure that um, information are confidential to uh, yourself. And yeah, that's all. Very good. Thank you. So Isabella, we are going to present our findings for this question. And we're going to start with um, points that the headquarters can do to motivate their employees to reach their goals. Um, firstly, they could reward them for achieving the goals they set together. Um, this keeps the employees motivated and they are then more likely to reach the goals. Furthermore, they should offer training before they are going abroad and during their abroad because sometimes it's not only your fault if something is going wrong. So they also need to evaluate the manager and the supervisors. And HR should always try to help uh, find any like solutions or possibilities and ways to help them to get their performance improved. And uh, another important thing is that you that the um, Headquarters should always um, offer a career development possibility. And the possible ways to help uh, your headquarter to assess is you should keep in touch with the headquarter, like very frequently, maybe more often than you would at home. Uh, write, for example, monthly or quarterly reports and do every half a year, an oral report, and just keep in touch with them and keep them updated what is going on. And uh, to the performance management, um, how they can assess your performance is also a little bit by self-evaluation, that you sit down and honestly think what you did, if you did something good, or, and it, it should also be included in your performance uh, management. And as I said, uh, frequent, uh, you should keep in touch frequently. Um, you should also have like um, discussions with your headquarter uh, to find corporate um, goals. So this means not only the headquarter is setting goals for you, but you also tell them if these goals are, uh, you are if you are able to accomplish these goals in the in like a year or half a year. And just tell them if you think it's possible and then find goals together and adjust the goals if they can't be reached or if they can be reached too easy also. And our last point is that you should, only, you should not only evaluate yourself but also your group or the team you're working with should be able to evaluate you so that you will get a good um, review and feedback about your work and if it's going well and yeah, and also from your supervisor, how you're doing. Very good, thank you. Uh, 
Hello everyone, we are Blog Face and I'm Lena, this is Ubi. And today we are going to talk about um, how to, uh, if, you, if you are assigned to work in China, and how should you do to help help people to ask actually your proposal. And here are six steps to if you ask your proposal. The first step is outline the top three to five things you will find to be the priorities of your big jump position. And this criteria will identify how you see your current job position. This uh, the determination may differ from the managers, which explains why you may not to be making the expectation of the job. Uh, the second step highlights the achievements you find are your most foundation in relation to the position. If this is the first review, consider your entire employment period. If this is not the first review, only look at the period between the current time and last review. This answer shows how you are continuously trying to perform better each year. The third step is the correct on each achievement and explain why your chasing achievements are important for the business and its goals to the target market. For example, uh, explain that your important important in the customer service area are important to the business because of executive goals to offer super customer service. This answer shows that you understand the company's objective and that you address the objective in your daily work. And the first step, high points of situation where your work or contribution to project results in overseas success. In other words, online your actions and the tasks in project that was a uh, success. This answer shows evaluate that you contribute in team setting and determine whether your contribute positive and negative effects on company tasks. The next step is um, provide a list of challenges you have overcome in the past year or between e evaluation. Challenges don't mean that you are incompetent of doing a job, but rather that you can overcome abstracted and uh, met goals despite encouraging hundreds on your way. And, um, the final step is online factors or task that you plan on uh, improve or addressing in the upcoming year of employment show that you recognize your growth and that you think to improve your work item, educated humanity and understanding for a growth company and its needs and that to for Okay, thank you. Yeah. That to be uh, used to improve this uh, PA system. Uh, yeah, or, uh, and then, after uh, the survival, and then how to keep the performance, and then now uh, I present some key points to, to help the partner to develop the performance. But uh, at the end of the day, so we need to uh, have a good big talk. First one is uh, witness. Uh, as as you know, uh, no one's perfect. If if the boss, so uh, no, maybe you, you have some questions. So uh, over the you have a witness. So don't be afraid. Uh, mention about this, uh, and uh, you show like, how you improve uh, your skill to improve this problem. And and then uh, the 
uh, the, the second part is the strength and achievement. So it's an opportunity for you to, to, to show that what you bring to your to com to company and what the benefit you bring. And then uh, it's, uh, it's uh, so enable to perform at the high level and have a company to solve the problems and bring the benefits to companies. And, and the, the third one is a role. Well, okay, so maybe some of the uh, company has uh, the, the growth in the last, uh, the last uh, evaluation. So in, uh, in, in this part, you should focus on some, some new schemes you often when you work the company. Uh, this uh, must uh, in a, so uh, you can be specific, you can specific and add up your assessment with the evidence. Uh, and the, and the next point is goals. Uh, set, setting some goals is uh, is made you uh, is some uh, give, give you some something to aim with that you can make uh, it increase the uh, motivation and of course it, it improve the performance and uh, and then if uh, so you, you can uh, so this uh, it can provide you with a personal sense of. Uh, Accomplishment with help the company in a specific way. Uh, of course, in, in, in this part, we brief, briefly explain what you will need to achieve the goal, what what you what you do, and uh, and the last part is the hack. Of course, so as as I said before, uh, no one is perfect, so you need the help from the company, maybe uh, the training program or um, uh, send you a, a college, a community college. To Chinese language, or maybe you understand more uh, Chinese culture. So this is a goal. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so very much. So let me tell you about the answer. Uh, so the answer is uh, the answer is so uh, we know it's very common for MCs to send people working in other countries, right? But the problem is they encounter critical challenges in the process of uh, international performance management. And uh, foreign employees are also aware of their cost to MNC and are concerned to contribute to the organization goals and strategies. So how to measure the performance of employees working in branches when the HQ and the branches are actually they are following different strategies and implement varied actions? So here are our answers. We can from the angle from self-evaluation based on the job description like your daily routine or your detail on your work or from another angle the evaluate from local team members, like a different voice from the local team member, they can provide their opinion about their supervisor, and weekly conference call with the headquarters to make sure everything on track. A manager can take business trip to check the work of the team, performance of the local team and individual. And the final one, the set purpose of international performance management, like our reward system, if they promote good, they can get some extra benefit uh, or bonus or something. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so, yeah. Setting up your voice and use the microphone, please. Thank you. So, we're going to talk about how to help headquarters evaluate your performance in your stated overseas. Uh, first is a mission statement, like before you go. The company should like tell you like, and you should tell the company what you're hoping to achieve and they should tell you what their expectations. And of course you should write annual reports to like evaluate yourself and your progress report. While all this time you should keep a working diary to show the company what you've actually done like in detail. And then there's also peer evaluation to get to your employees and your peers and self-evaluation and your employees should be able to evaluate their satisfaction with you too and finally there's customer satisfaction to like uh, to see what you've done right for them or what wrong to them thank you
Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Very pretty, right? Yeah. And uh, actually, concerning the peer review, I think uh, uh, another uh, perspective is the the peer uh, uh, the peer performance. You should ask the, the, the improvement of your performance from the peer. Not only the local peer, but also the global peer, regional peer. Right? Maybe they can help you. That would be a, a, another idea. Okay. So, in this situation, first, uh, before you go, you need to have some uh, conference uh, meeting uh, with the headquarters. No, what's the purpose, right? And exactly, you need to make some, uh, have some uh, suggestion uh, or consult with the, the formal expatriate manager, right? No, what, how often happen in China and how can you improve the performance, okay? So you get, can get some idea from that. From that. And uh, also, you can uh, find uh, who can help you in headquarters. Okay, so then after you go, yeah, you should always give the report, right? And ask uh, some uh, assistant from the headquarters and know how to improve uh, your performance in the whole country. Yeah? So you should do something. And also, I very, it's very good that some group have uh, about this, uh, yeah, have some uh, development problem, right? To help you, right? To, to, uh, Increase the confidence and uh, improve the performance. That's a very good idea. Okay. And finally, uh, you should uh, know if you have any problem, right? Who can help you? And maybe can ask the uh, the peer, right? The peer uh, uh, from the local, the, the local peer, right? To help you or the regional peer to help you. That would be a very good idea. However, the most important is you should know. Uh, after all this, uh, where should uh, where can you go? Uh, will be promoted, right? Or got uh, uh, more uh, financial incentive? Anything, right? So if uh, in this situation you can know, yes. Uh, after I got this uh, performance, okay, I achieved the, all this goal. What company uh, will uh, reward me? Okay, you should then you can get more motivation. To stay in the company, or maybe uh, our company will fire you. Maybe. Okay. Thank you for all your very good discussion and presentation. Thank